Hi, this is Creighton Webb, owner and CEO of SunWest Communications with two minutes of quick advice around crisis communications. We've all been reading or hearing about two major brands in the United States that have been going through a reputational crisis that's very well known here in the United States. The first, of course, Starbucks. Now, whether you're a Starbucks lover or hater, whether you believe everything they've said following the incident or Philadelphia, or whether you believe none of it, there are three things the brand has done in order to mitigate this situation and the damage of the crisis. The first, in everything that they've said and written, the first thing that they've done is to show empathy. We're very sorry for the two men, or to the two men who were impacted in Philadelphia. The situation was horrific, inexcusable. Another big brand that we've been reading about that just experienced a tragedy, Southwest Airlines. The first thing that they did after the incident was to talk about how sorry they are, how their thoughts and prayers go out to the family that was impacted. Second, back to Starbucks, they declared intent. This and what happened is not who we are and not who we want to be. They reiterated the narrative of the company that they want us all to hear. And third, and perhaps most importantly, they talked about what action they were going to take in order to solve the situation. Starbucks said, we're closing our stores for a certain amount of time in order to train our employees to be more sensitive, to know when they should call police. Now again, whether you're a fan or not, whether you believe the stock price will go up or go down, whether you think Starbucks or Southwest for that matter will recover from these reputational crises, these are three actions that each of those two brands have taken in order to make sure that they had the best chance of reputational recovery. So that's two minutes of advice from SunWest.